when someone was looking at building a website, they had a choice of a website where they were blind, where they, they couldn't really see what was going on, or a website that they could update themselves. You know, it took me years to build this stuff, that they could research and build. They could, a website that they could update themselves and they could see exactly who came in and, and where they went. And it really gave us an absolute huge advantage. Okay, so I was sitting there and I heard a voice that said, come over, I'll take a look at this. So I said, okay, okay. So I walked around, looked at the computer. And it was like asking a question. So we asked it a question and the answer was amazing. The answer was amazing. So we asked another question and the answer was amazing. So we, you can ask questions, you know, what, what, what's a good party idea for a 10 year old boy? Create me the programming needed to create a, a form on a website on a thank you page. You can ask any question and it comes back with a very, very, very good response. A very good response. And people are looking at that going, oh, my, my programming job. <laughs> my programming job is gone. This is what I do. My programming job is gone. And people are looking at it saying, because it can create images. Not this one, but other AIs can create images. My design job is at risk. <laughs> my job is at risk. And... A lot of people are looking at going, my job is at risk. And let me tell you a really, really quick story. Really quick story. Hundreds of years ago, there was full employment, absolutely full employment. Every single person who wanted a job had a job. And the job was to pick, pick on the farm, to go to the farm and work on the farm. And everybody, absolutely everybody, was backbreaking work. It was difficult to work, but everybody who wanted a job had a job. They didn't get paid a lot of money, but everybody who wanted a job had a job. And then there was something invented. It was called a combine harvester. And all of a sudden, where 90, 80, 90% of people worked on the farm, 80, 90% of the people in the country worked on a farm or on their own farm or on a large farm, whatever it happened to be, all of a sudden the farms got bigger and I don't know what the percentage is today but I'm going to guess something like 5% maybe work on farms today because of the invention of this combine harvester which was used. Let me tell you another story. So that meant that 90% meant that of people down to 5%, 85% of people lost their jobs. 85% of people lost their jobs because of that. Now let me tell you another story. I spent a lot of time, years and years ago, I spent a lot of time building what was called a content management system. I programmed it in a programming language called Active Server Pages, which is not even used now. It's not, the programming language is not even used now. It's been transferred into .NET. So it's a Microsoft programming language. It's been transferred into .NET. I don't even know if it's used anymore. And I also built a statistics system. So when someone came into a website, you could tell where they came from. It got the IP address. You could tell what pages they visited you know, what countries they are from. And it competed with, at the time, at the time, the alternatives were a, you know, statistics programs on your hosting count, which counted hits, which if you had, a hit was any download from the server. So if you had 10 images on a web page, the web page would be counted as a hit, but every image that was taken down would also be counted as a hit. So it was, it was really unreliable, very, very unreliable. So I built one that was very reliable. I used some code that was that was online and, and edited and stuff like that. And I built one that was very reliable so you could tell like exactly who came into your website, who what pages they visited, where they came from. And it was groundbreaking, it was absolutely groundbreaking and it gave us a huge advantage. I ran a company at the time that gave us a huge advantage because when someone was looking at building a website, they had a choice of a website where they were blind, where they, they couldn't really see what was going on or a website that they could update themselves. You know, it took me years to build this stuff, that they could research and build, they could, a website that they could update themselves and they could see exactly who came in and, and where they went. And it really gave us an absolute huge advantage against other companies who just couldn't do it, just couldn't do that. 
But then obviously WordPress came out and lots of other content management systems and Google Analytics came out, which completely <laughs> made the stuff that I've been working on for years completely useless. Not useless, but Google Analytics was just better. Like what I built was good, but Google Analytics was just better. I didn't have the budget that Google had. And WordPress was obviously so, so easy to use. Not perfect, obviously there's problems with WordPress and all the other content management systems. Every, every one of them has problems, but it was just better. And more people were using it, so as more people got used to it, more people were using it, just people wanted WordPress or whatever content management system they wanted to use. But it wasn't the one that only clients of my company were using. It was not the one they were looking for. That they'd never heard of. So that completely changed. We went into programming and did other stuff as well. But it completely changed the way we were, we were doing business. And AI is here. <laughs> AI is here. We can't ignore the fact that AI is here. And open AI is here. And all the other image editing image creation AI is here and it's not going to take your job it's not going to take your job you are still needed all AI does is it's going to change education all AI does is take the information that's out there on the web and regurgitate it in a very very human friendly way which is beautiful but AI can't create AI can't create and you can create from nothing you can create from nothing. You have inspiration. You have a connection with the divine. And you can create from absolutely nothing. And AI will never, ever be able to do that. AI can, what's, can do what's called educational bulimia, where it, it can take in information and spit that information back up again. That's going to change the education system because the education system, which is what I would call educational bulimia, I didn't create that term, where you take in lots of facts and information and then you regurgitate that information back up in a test that's gone but this is going to be a golden age of critical thinking of critical thinking of creation of imagination jobs are going to change jobs are going to change we are going to be using this new ai we have to work with it but you are still needed. You are needed more than you have ever, ever, ever been in this new age of AI. Jobs are going to change. Jobs are going to change. It's like when we had 90% of people working on farms. Would you like to go back and do that again? We'll all go back and work on the farm. Is that, what, is that the way we should move forward? Or should we use the technology we have? Use the technology you have. This is going to be an age of incredible creation it's going to be an age of the production the production of people is going to explode explode using ai and we're in a whole new world but you're still needed we don't need universal basic in income you are still needed you are needed now more than ever and this is going to be a time I suggest that in the next 10 years is going to be time when the economy explodes. Absolutely explodes. Even with all the money printing that's going on, the economy is going to explode. And you are going to be needed more than you've ever been. But you need to be thinking critically and you need to create. It's a time of creation. This is going to be the biggest, next 10 years is going to be time of the biggest creation that we have ever seen on this planet. It's been Alan here. I want to talk about AI. And AI is not taking your job.